everybody, this is Rebecca Tatila with the Roma Hut Institute, and today I want to talk about how to make an essential oil blend. Now, I know that you've probably all read online all these recipes and they give you the number of drops, but they really never explain why do you use that number of drops for each essential oil. So today I want to talk about how to make a blend and the art of the apothecary in the act of formulating a blend. And so this is something that we do cover in our class for aromatherapy certification. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys because I think it's important for you to understand why you're choosing the oils that you're using and why you put that number of drops in. So let's go ahead and take a look at this because what we do online in our course is cover a few questions that help us to maybe formulate a blend. So the first question that you wanna look at and ask is, what are you making the blend for? Now, this first question you ask is probably the most important. Okay, so there's two types of blends and that's the aromatic blend, which means that you're only concerned with the fragrance of the oils and the way the composition is going to smell. The other way to look at it is the therapeutic blend. Now the therapeutic blend means that we're looking at the therapeutic properties and the essential oils constituents that are going to help form our blend. So number one is what are you trying to accomplish with this blend? Is this to help reduce swelling? Are you trying to treat an ailment or a cut or wound? Or is this a blend for anxiety and stress? So you're going to want to know this because we're going to look at the essential oils based on whether they're stimulating oils or whether they are calming oils. And that's going to be a big difference in which oils you choose. Number two, how is the blend going to be used? Now, this means that you're going to need to know, is this going to be a room spray? Is this going to be a diffuser blend? Is it going to be a lotion or an oil that's going to be applied to the body? This will help us determine the oils we want to use based on whether it's going to be inhaled or whether it's going to be used topically, dermally on the skin that's going to be absorbed. Number three, we want to know who are you making this blend for? Are the elderly or is this a child that you're blending for? Maybe it's a pregnant woman. These are all the things that we need to take into consideration because this will determine our dilution rate. Number four, and this is an important one, how long is the blend going to be used for? Is it an acute treatment or is this a chronic ailment or illness that you're trying to help the patient with? Now, when we make blends, we need to determine the frequency, which is going to be how often they're using it, how many times a day, how it's going to be used. This is something that you're going to want to consider from the very beginning before you even start making your blends. For general purposes, a blend can be used up to six times a day for acute conditions and three to six times a day for chronic complaints. Number five. You're going to want to determine, is this for viral, bacterial, fungal, or some other type of infection? This is critical in determining which oils to use. Number six, you're going to want to know, is there any precautions that you need to be aware of, such as if the person is on medications, and if so, what kind, and is there going to be any kind of counter indications that you need to be aware of in certain essential? Number seven, what is the dosage of the application for this essential oil blend? For instance, 15 to 18 drops per one ounce with carrier oil could be used up to three to six times a day. So I really hope this helps guide you in your blending and will help you to create a great blend for your client or customer. And if this is something that you might be interested in learning more about, then please take a look at our website at aromahut.com to find out more about our aromatherapy certification program because we get into this deep in understanding what happens when an essential oil enters into the bloodstream and how it affects the body systems. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.